Hello, hello everybody, it's your Prof Chop, and we're back again with another Maxor video. The highly requested and incorrect summary of Elden Ring. I finally beat the game yesterday on Twitch, so let's go. Let's see. Hey guys, welcome to my minutes. Minecraft of Let's Play. Elden Ring, oh boy. Or, as I like to call it, Boomer Band, is a fun Boomer new hack and slash and bash and crash my car. Developed by Epic Games Direct. And some crying at the end. There's a lot of crying at the end, okay? After Hydro Tacos Miyazaki with the express purpose of inflicting Oof. pain upon the guy. Yup. In this adventure, yes. you play as the famous Video Games protagonist Elden John as he undergoes many trials and tribulations on his quest to fight the entire True. Catholic Church and kill God. This game is a, a little different. Yes. You could call it the Dark Souls of Sky. As such, Dark many challenges await the player, and most of it is the. God, I hated that woman. She beat my ass so long and so hard. Work of Satan. Did I enjoy that? Every but... game made by the Japanese, spanning a gigantic world slightly larger than Africa. We will find many secrets, uncover many attractions, and slay the entire cast of the Bible. I've always liked that yes. book. My favorite part was the genocide. I mean, there was a lot of genocide there, so. Whoa, 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 he's given them names. Okay, let's go back. I want to see the titles he's given them. Oh, wait, this might take a little bit. Come on, come on. The scar the Scourger of Reddit. <laughs> Together as f Why did you- Bro, what? What? <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> anyway, you go three sentences, bro. There's a lot of them. Okay, I was Japanese. Original, do not steal. My f- Oi! What? God damn it. Not in this video yet. God freed. <laughs> Let's go. The moon and stars. So we boot up the game and uh... Oh, uh, silly me. I forgot yeah, to unplug the keyboard single. so my controller can work. Now I'm free to make my... Character. Damn, our journey Make begins inside chat. of the Microsoft Some PowerPoint, sort of the quality Wait, of which being so dubious that, that it resurrects you from the dead. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. Of course, this is a FromSoft game, so Spider-Man is here to send us the fuck back. To our tutorial, which is yes. a whole, a whole lot of fun. You know, just making friends, influencing people, and uh -huh. providing intuitive solutions to the issue of life. And with that problem sorted, Wait, it's time to Did you fight that guy twice? Did he die to the soldier So we can accomplish the impossible and go outside. Yeah. Welcome it's everyone awful. to Limgrave, land of trees, laborious bears upon the trees, and this white person. Honest, if you're this lost, how do you start person? by finding some bitches? Stupid weeaboo wearing ass. When's the last time you took a shower with your dirty helmet wearing ass? With your weird ass cargo shorts your mama gave you? Damn. Look, what I'm trying to say is, your fit is mid, and you get Damn. zero bitches. Fuck out of my sight before Damn. I don't look at those stank ass vans again. As per the words of our friendly associate, we proceed towards the castle in search of some bitches. In Dark Souls, and we we'll find one. the Dark Soul, and in Bloodborne, we tried to escape Britain. But for True. Elden Ring, our objective is to get the hose. This is a game mechanic you cannot level up until you get a girl boss. Yes. So with nothing else to do, I guess we'll have to fight this tutorial boss. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. I, uh, he's, a, he's a little like... This tutorial is on how to flee in fear and uh, use geometry. <laughs> Proceeding to the next batch of enemies, we must forsake direct combat in favor of the stealthy techniques of video game protagonist Rigid Danger Mighty Jungle Noodle, at Rigid which point Danger. they form a violence committee. Oh, he died there. They blew the horn. Try finger. Mm -hmm. But but what's up, bitch? What the fuck? My name is Melatonin, and if I may inquire, sir, I am in need of a quirked up white boy who can bust it down sexual style, so that I may make him goated with the sauce. Oh. Why did he make the wife a smoker? A male smoker? Okay. No cap. God All damn. we have to do now is kill every demigod yes. on the planet. Thank God. I'm glad you asked. Long ago, this land was ruled by the great Queen Marinara, who pissed off God so badly that he left the oh, fucking yeah, universe. Yeah. Now damn. her power, the Amazon gift card, is shattered, and her athletic scions are holding a contest to see who can die the least. So God comes back when I kill them? No, but you get to keep the gift card. Uh, These are the faces uh, of evil, who have all claimed a shard of the card. Some seek glory, others redemption, and one is just really attracted to his younger brother. Wait, what the fuck? What? Countless Wait, Mog is a wincest incest dude? And it's a brother, not a sister? I thought it was Mikela, right? Weekends at university, Mikela, the tarnished dude? warriors are called upon what? to rise from their tilted towers and achieve tilted one final towers. victory royale. 
Jake Paul, bastard of the Badlands, the ever wet skelly sleeper, the skelly. crazy car car consumer, and least of all, that is less offensive than his actual in game name. You tarnished warrior, is there like an opt out? Great, I'll send you to my <laughs> dimensional pocket. I see. Cool. The metaverse. Welcome to the round table hold, a place to hey, invest, make music. purchases, and converse with the homeless. Do you sell magic? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go over here now. Oh, I get these things now. I've seen now, Jojo. As for our comprehensible Let's friends, go. we could begin with the blacksmith, but uh, he's a little busy right now. So that only he's leaves one more person, kill God. Fia, the deathbed the companion, unique among all women, including my mother, for offering. Hey, I'm a Let's go, Maxor. Hug me. Of course, I do accept for gameplay reasons, but what I wasn't aware of was that this one action permanently debuffed my health, and I Wait. forgot to turn it off. Really? For the entire she game, your the health? effect looks like this, and with that, I've reached my limit for human interaction <laughs> so it's time to head hey, Miyazaki tried teaches that women are evil and then he sends us to Melania Back. he succeeded they are Jesus evil. Christ to Stormvale Castle where we can find Unless the first animated. demigod on our list of all people our approach God begins Jigbo. by moving through the gate our approach begins yep. with a battle against the lag beast but honestly after that the level is pretty easy Oof. All right, finally a cutscene. God damn it! In search of the hose. Unfortunately, the fail I hate women. <laughs> that sounds True. like a you problem, Chief. I am also homophobic. How does that work? I'm curious. And you are looking pretty gay right now. Hey guys, it's me, Max, or welcome to the first boss. <laughs> yeah, she's a little uh. <clears throat> yeah, he's a little bit odd. Uh, yeah. The yep. Albert Thatcher is a very strong, <laughs> very agile, and very interesting boss. Essentially, his purpose is telling you to fuck off and come yes. back later, preferably when your bones are defragmented from the ass whooping. He or you could do what I did and bash your head into the wall until you kill him for like three hours. Combines delayed attacks, okay, it was crazy an hour combos, and eventually the hammer of God, just like the real Margaret Thatcher when she hammered English oppression into the once peaceful streets of Derry. So I think I'm uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take the hint and leave. Fortunately no. for us, young Sheldon Ring is a game Sheldon with all kinds of activities Ring. to prepare and unwind. You know, like killing the fucking dragon, yes. which for some reason is easier. It's just extremely not easy. too much easier. Oof. The exploration arc. There. For hey, the listen. This game made me say, at least like six times, there is another new area that I just found, that was not on the map, under the map, over the map, below, under the, below the map. Next like, leg of our journey. So the many now areas. disgraced loser baby resigns himself to <laughs> living in the woods. That way, he can exist peacefully among the giant bears and uh, whatever that is. Greetings, Wait, can meet the footy I earlier? The pit bull of the woods. Uh, Have you seen then? any orphanages nearby? Why are you asking me that? No reason. Legend has it that at the edge of these woods, there's a well containing the it's tastiest dogs, children. Okay. Go there, traveler, and I will kill the infants of your choice. Damn. Okay, this hey, might seem living. bad, but I know a good deal when I see one. Unfortunately, I am blind. Same. It's hey okay. guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome to fucking Space Mountain. I hope you like being trapped in Smurf Valhalla because these fuckers don't play around. So to keep things short, this forest is watched over by the spirit of a gentle stag and my immediate yes. impulse is to kill it. This necessitates yes. lighting well, eight fire. First you need to revive it and then you kill it because it's dead. Yes. They're scattered throughout the sacred We're grove, or more accurately, game. sprinting between hey, them while enduring the trials of free on. acupuncture meets Markiplier jump scare. That is not a sentence I thought was possible, but then again, we do have sentient lightning and uh, Mr. Krabs. So after lighting the fires at the expense of my life, we devour the necessary peyote to enter the spirit cave. And as it turns yes. out, Bambi is back from the woods, and they had a chill. Yo, he, he fought this boss so much earlier than me. I had like three of his health bars when I fought this dude. I uh, like this fight. He shows me how bad I am at the video game and uh, reenacts my trips to the horse race in 2006. Oof. Overall, it is a riveting and accurate portrayal of how fun it is to kill innocent forest animals. Yes. Turn out of PETA. You don't even get anything from killing him, just the guilt.
You get some souls. So after exiting the hell that is Quebec, we head across Limgrave Quebec, to the Weeping Montreal. Peninsula. Called as such for its tendency to rain and also ah. the race war. But before we get into that, we've got a few tasks to do, just like Among Us. These include fighting the sapient tree, uncovering yes. chests that accidentally... Hey, don't worry, you'll be fighting that same enemy like... At least 25 more times. And teleport me to Don't the worry. end of the game, and also oh. the uh, the bell, which nice. may or may not cause hearing damage when you get close enough. It even contains the rarest Damn. of all loot: a woman who tells woman? us the tale of Castle Morn, a fortress that made the grievous her. mistake How many of things have I missed in this game? in their local Hilton. Except these are not costumes. My brother in Christ, yes. they are misbegotten Chimera, and you're going to die. So as can be expected, they massacred everyone and started a county-sized race war, and now they're sending me to clean up their human corpse ball. Pit. Fortunately, Damn. just like all issues in life, this one is fixed with a massacre. They haven't invented yes. war crimes yet. I uh, like this level actually. It's pretty short. Just like this video. My favorite detail Damn. is that they gave her to an orangutan. Oof. Oof. Oh boy, it's more animal cruelty. We're climbing back into Harambe's cage, and there is no gun. You know, when he isn't converting my bones to sand, <laughs> this fight is act. You can see how bad it was going for him because he decided to switch his weapon and equip a shield, bro. That's the tactic when you get fucked in the end. Actually yep. easy, mainly because his health is the size of my prefrontal cortex. But even Oof. still, I had a great time reenacting the murders I did two years ago. And just like this fight, I will not face the consequences. <laughs> he switched the weapon again. He equipped a ball, bro. <laughs> Enjoy this while you can, because... <laughs> okay. Fuck, uh, because we've got a few more people transition. to talk to, such as D, a man who gives us D. a fair warning about the dangers ahead. The village here has been touched by death. Thanks, as well as speaking to the sentient jar, which you hey, may find Alexander. strange, but really we are all containers for suicidal thoughts. Oi, so after quite years, Alexander? our new friend Jar Jar Binks tells us to head east to an industrious land known as Gary, Indiana. Don't you know, do it, it seems brother. like we're going a little bit off the beaten Don't path with this brother. one, but I'm pretty confident. After all, oh, how bad can it possibly be? Well, welcome to Australia. What the fuck is that? Yep. Oh no. Oh god. Yep. Let's go back to the castle. This time I I think I'll walk all the way back to market. <laughs> Oi! Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome back to the, the Let's Play. And on this episode, Margit is still hard and a bit distrustful. Oof. One might say suspicious. We need to eject him. Margit, more like Marge Simpson. Even with better gear, this is a fight that demands, among other things, awareness and patience. Emphasis on the patience. But most importantly, this fight requires experience. Experience yes. gained through fighting zoo animals, dragons, and even Canadians to squeeze out the narrowest of victories. Oof. Just to watch out for the hammer. And you got really glad we could beat the first boss up nine minutes into the video. Was it ten minutes? Hey, it's Welcome ten everyone minutes. You to like. Stormvale Castle, realm of the first demigod, Godric the Gifted. And if I can't get to him in twenty minutes, the lasagna is free. Stormvale is a complex, multifaceted dungeon with various paths, only one of which is correct. So instead, Wait. we take the side route. I think there's two paths. You go through the gate or you go around the gate. Cross the wall, past the knife birds, and into a Chinese oh, no, chemical know. factory. So after cracking open a cold one with the boys, we ascend okay. the political mm. compass until I have authority over life and death, which coincidentally leads us to the castle grounds. And uh, I didn't know they made Irish birds. Oh, God, Curdle. the birds. I'm trying to sneak around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps the rain growing. All right, it looks like we're finally making some progress. All we have to do now is get through the um. <laughs> He's quite the um, handyman. Yeah. Knows how to work with his hands. Yep. You could say he's quite the handful. Better use this door to uh, keep him at arm's length. Exactly. I'm very funny, by the way. Stay tuned for more Rich laughs and gags on the Big Bang Theory Sundays on NBC. I'm sorry, Odie, but I could not stop myself. After all, it was a Monday, and I hate Mondays. Ooh. Pizza delivery for us. This boss fight has one of the best soundtracks in the whole game. A Garfield it's called Lasagna. Pizza Hut really ought to work on serving giant castles. I work for Domino's. Then it sounds like you could use a bit of a hand. You know, oh. making the pizzas. Uh, I command you to laugh. Do you know <laughs> what I've gone through to make that joke? In this Sounds battle against Godric the Minecrafted, we put our patience to the ultimate test as Grandpa pilots his fucking mass grave Evangelion straight into the housing market. Much like his titular cat, Godric is a fucking gremlin who attained his abilities by entering Friedrich Fastbear's Mega Pissplex in the year of our Luigi 1987 and then sewed the children therein to his wacky animatronic suit. They call him William Grafton. But besides that, his coordination is... 
That was a sentence. Some par, since he God has to damn. migrate a marsh pit to attack you, and it's quite excessive. Godric holds that all deck. his attacks until the heat death of the universe, which means you have to pay attention to his arm carefully, and that's pretty difficult when he's shaped like a four dimension. Which one? object. I'm finding it uh, pretty hard to keep track of him. He seems to Sorry. morph around when I... <laughs> so we fight him slowly and with attrition, like the Viet Cong, dodging, slicing, and dying until eventually and reaching tying. the up. The uh... And. Oh. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, get used to it. Uh, for some reason Miyazaki loves when his bosses just take their hands, legs and everything else off and use it to beat your ass with it. I guess he didn't need it. <laughs> so to overcome the taxes on his 401k, Godric decides to order a oh, bad Jesus. dragon to release his inner Todd Howard's The Sky Rim. Finally, I have the power to cook all the lasagna I want. With Welcome a dragon. to phase two, bitch. You're going in for yeah, I'm not sure what that song is, but it's a banger. This is the best game ever made. Harry Potter and the Audacity uh, the round physics. table hold, my favorite location. One There's really is nothing it? else like it in the realm of physical science. Speaking of which, it's been at least three seconds since a homeless guy yelled at me. Let's fix that without going to Los Angeles. Hey, hey, people. Oh, God. It is I, hey, the lore it's man. Set. Okay, do you know where the bathroom is? My IQ is the highest among all Reddit. That's not saying much. Did you know Ranala of a full moon resides? Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's just talk to, uh... <laughs> Yup. Uh, the finger. The two fingers. This is worse. Let's uh, come back to that eventually. Oh, uh, I guess I'm stuck here. Fuck. Congratulations, we've made it past the first demigod out of six and a half. I'm sure his subjects six will remember him fondly. Remember all those adventures we had together, all those places. By the way, that, that guy did you see stomping on the other dude? If you die in the castle, he yoinks a portion of your souls. That guy right there. He's an ass. It's up 10% of the map. I'll probably finish these videos <laughs> yes, in a nursing home. This is the rest of the game. So and long. Wow. And good. I better call Gandalf for that shit because we've got a ways to walk. That's not even the whole game. You go under, you go above, you go left and right. There's a Welcome lot. Welcome everyone to Ligma of the Lakes, the Ligma? largest swamp that Miyazaki Ligma was what? allowed to build. 30,000 men have already died. And on today's episode, we will be heading to the second demigod on my list of political dissidents. Ranala of the Red Lobster, Queen the Red of Caria, Lobster. for at least the next 10 minutes, resides in the magical academy of Malaysia Lucario. And to get there, we need to head across a biological minefield known informally as the Crustacean Nation. It is here that we face our greatest challenge, the, the fucking shrimp. I'm starting to think that PETA has a has a point. So anyways, we head through the gauntlet, past the Octo Skeddy, and get completely sidetracked until I end up in fucking Nipton. But uh, we're gonna skip over most of the side content. You could say that we don't have the time to hang out. Just know that you can find this area by Google searching Elden Ring Albania. This one is for all my baby girls. Actually... So I see That's your comments, making ladies, and they make chat. me smile. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you least expect. So after heading through the ruins of my marriage and killing the white people, we make it to hey, the Hogwarts, the only to find that the way is blocked by a mysterious seal. And next to it lies a map which leads straight to the key. Their security is dog shit. This puzzle should be pretty easy. Don't worry, the key is definitely not secured by a big beast. Easy. All we have to do is get past the dragon yep. that's waiting there. This game has the a magic lot of dragons dragon. in it, so I'm going to keep a count. Just know that it doesn't get easier. I mean, so dragons now that are kind of easy into to kill. magical racism land. It's time to magical enact our revenge upon land. Chris Angel Mind Freak in one of the most pretty good-ish dungeons of the game, featuring brand new challenges and enemies hey, such Alexander, as the Spastic Splendid. Child, this man Splendid. thirty times in a row, and a homeless hey, guy. Hey, sometimes they wear the mask of a woman, but less often because. Helps me extract the blood from my body. Raging Lucario is a fa <laughs> Raging Lucario is a fairly linear dungeon with some rather unusual Balls. architecture. Now I'm no interior oh, designer, but why is the entrance to the school a graveyard? Is this America? Anyways, we drive past Ohio <laughs> as quickly as possible until we end up near the lecture hall. Singular. There is only one in the entire school. I guess they just do it on Zoom. And for today's lecture, what is the dog doing? That I hated that point. That dog is so annoying. At least it dies quick. 
the answer is stabbing me. This is one hecking speederino doggo who is frankly an insult to every wizard in the school. Their valedictorian eats his own shit. The gimmick for this chonking pupper is that he combines beast-like aggression with powerful magical attacks, but none was so devastating as when he corrupted my drive, which destroyed this video. The last minute of footage was reconstructed really? from memory. But besides that, Damn. his moveset is that varied sucks. and intense, requiring expert evasion or just a lot of healing. It really is a shame that his health bar is the size of an amoeba. I guess yes. my weapon's just covered in chocolate. Wow, this is just like my favorite show family guy. <laughs> so before we take the 30 second walk to the next boss, I acquire some fat drip so I may no longer appear fatherless. Wait, where did he our... get the dude's armor? There is an MCU fight that looks just like that and he's a bit of an asshole because he parries you. Search for a classroom that can't be raided. We head up the stairs to the experience balls. bowling in VR. You're and running away from the phase through Dodge. oncoming yes. traffic. We become sidetracked again as I am teleported straight to the turtle pope. Yes! He wants to sell me things. The His best existence turtle. isn't explained and I don't want it to be. He's Only cute. horror lurks behind that stair. You Let's uh, move on to something less disturbing. It's nice. There's I no can't horror. believe I went to college without once seeing Ben Shapiro. <laughs> I God, said less learned. disturbing. What is up guys and welcome to episode 391 of my Minecraft Let's Play. This is a preschool man. Today we're going to be messaging my underage fans on the internet. Oi oi. Oh boy. Welcome one and all across to Child Slaughterfest 2002 twos. That's right. This isn't Listen, they are they are all 18 plus, okay? American school after all. And in this battle, we are going to be teaching these kids the harsh realities of the hood. Now, I know what you're going to say and hopefully it's not a police report. Max Orb, this fight looks kind of easy, like taking candy wow. from a baby. If the candy was their still beating heart. This is accurate. In fact, all you have to do is find the correct one to turn inside yes. out. At which point, Renala basically lets you go to town. She is in a bowl and they sink. The one that sinks has the little light around her. You hit her and she falls down from the bowl. The you reason for ass. this is that we aren't fighting a demigod. This is the Wait, demigod's ex-wife who was dumped after she gave birth to 30 of herself. To some extent, I can oh. understand, but goddamn that child support. Kind of feel like I'm doing Wait, a favor. Good evening, Twitter. This is your boy, Eat That Pussy. Four, what the four, fuck? Five, and about like 30 to 45 minutes ago, I beat the fuck out of my dick. So Wait, that's the, uh, the pedophile dude, no? That I can't even feel my left leg. My left leg. Damn. Or am I mistaken that dude for another dude? The queen of the pool. I guess there's a phase two. Yes, there is. In this phase, she summons the actual moon to hit you with the moon. It's crazy. Welcome to the real fight. It's still easy. Four yes, Dark Souls, which easy. means the challenge is getting anywhere close to her. This fight is essentially Dark Susk Gwendolyn if he slash them were a good oh, boss yeah, using a vast array fight. of magic, other bosses, and the power of Goku to socially distance your skull from your neck. But even yes. still, it's very manageable if you have any semblance of patience. <laughs> my editing might tell you something about how I did. 70% of this fight is waiting for my turn. It's like I'm trying to stab Julius Caesar. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so we can take this video to the moon. So after sufficient and damage is dealt, back. we find out that her second phase has a second phase and its other bosses, including of course this bastard again and the actual straight up pack of wolves. Just make sure that to you To be honest, the dogs are one of her strongest summons. They hit you so many times they hurt so die, much. Otherwise it's back to the daycare. Needless to say, this fight is a visual and gameplay feast and by that I mean it does not end. The divorce may have hit hard, but it is hitting me harder. So let's Damn. do to her life what her husband did to the marriage. Oh, Damn. there goes the camera. Damn, brother. You're going to Brazil? I fucking hate this Brazil? place. It's making me want to minimize the amount of air I breathe. Greetings again, Tarn. Yeah, okay. What knowledge do you seek that brings you to my domain? Okay, so I've been to Red Lobster once already. Uh, where do I go next? Caleb. What? You must continue your adventure in Caleb. Uh, Is that a problem? No, yes. not at all. It's there, there's nothing wrong with Caleb. <laughs> there, there's nothing right hey with Caleb. guys, Kaylid. needs McTherapy it's here. Today we're going to be playing in a Tim Burton land. By the way, what he did not mention is maybe because I'm probably the one idiot that actually did it. In the area where there's a dragon, there is a secret chest. It's not too secret. If you open it, it teleports you to Caleb. Extremely early on. In a cave. It's a very bad experience. 
Welcome Very to bad. Kalid. It's basically made of German Makes bedtime sense. stories. Who can forget such legendary tales as Der Vogel, Der Bachpfeifen Gesicht, and most the, terrifying yeah, of all, German. Das Kinderschredder. I'm sorry if you speak the German, Schredder. by the way. That's gotta be my least favorite disability. And on today's episode of Amnesia <laughs> The Dark Descent, Come we are invited on, to a festival and slumber party where the sleep hey, is permanent, all for a chance to face off against the third demigod on my Club Penguin friends list. Star Scourge Radon, captain awesome. of the hospice, resides within the walls of Red Main Castle. Where every year he throws a party to see who can keep their limbs the longest. The price of admission is just up, getting anywhere near him, because sometimes life is just a Bulgarian and you are an unstolen car. So we ride vaguely. Hey, we don't steal all the cars, just newer models after 2001, okay? God damn it, we have some principles. And bikes. If you have a bike, it's stolen. I don't care if it costs like five dollars. And okay. in some direction, it's encountering many horrifying creatures beyond the reach of God and locking myself in the cum dungeon. The other Oof. kids laughed at me. They called me Jizzy Johnson. But now it is I who is laughing at them. Jizzy <laughs> John. Hey, no, no. Enough oh, cool. hangings, bro. A, it's another dragon. Damn it. And this one is a, quite the special encounter because we get Wait, to find him in the volume this, of an aquarium. He can't but really touch anything. Otherwise, he uh, decouples his existence. Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? Max over here. And today, we're going to be gaming on the moon. Because that's what this shit feels like. In <laughs> fact, I heard you like dragons so much that I made an entire yeah, part of the map dragon called Dragon nuts. Barrel, and I filled it with, you guessed it, an dragons. obscene quantity of dragons. Because truly, we have not fought enough of them. I don't uh, want to be here anymore. Let's put this in the future episode. And there is box. a big dragon. So far, we've big, seen big a lot dragon. of traumatizing things. Enough to give half of all American politicians cardiac arrest. But I've been saving the best for last. And by best, I mean the most evil game design ever conceptualized. The Swamp of Aeonia lies just within the center of Caleb and contains Wait, enough aids to make Ronald Reagan sweat. Well, this I mean this area is not that bad because if you are on the horse it doesn't poison you. Region and so pretty just much all of Kalid, but mostly this fucking abomination is infested with scarlet rot, which is like poison if it was made of radium. And get this, it's spreading. Right. You can't even use a horse to bypass the radiation oh. because an what? NPC just invades you in the middle of the oh. swamp. It's like I can hear the dulcet <laughs> tones of the game Wait, director she's laughing at me. For Wait, she just did a uh, Melania's combo. Who is this woman? Millicent? That was Melania's combo. Your crimes. I've died enough to, to remember it. Trust me. This place is filled with all kinds of new and interesting ways to die. <laughs> and my favorite lies at the center of the swamp, where we can find oh, the summoning guy and his Bostonian yep. Kennedy Mafia. Surprisingly <laughs> enough, <laughs> this is the only thing here that can't kill me. His moveset is so simple, it's Amish accessible. Yeah. You could build a barn around him in the time it takes for him to do damage. Maybe this boss would be better with a second phase, one where he whips out his lightning cock and pulverizes yep. me until I'm gravel. Yep. But you know, <laughs> that's just a theory. A game the second theory. phase, please, Thanks as well. for watching. What? Also, he up drops his cannon, which I will now put to very good use. You're a horse, right? We're in a red main castle now. This entire level can be skipped because I think the devs realize that Kaelin is the actual level. Do you even know how many dogs were euthanized on my way here? Don't worry, you aren't actually missing anything unless you're a big fan of cats, such as life on the Serengeti. Like so, like welcome pussy. to the Festival of Ramadan. There are two Ramadan. attendants in total, and uh, one of them is this guy. Hello again, Tarnished. How was your journey down the well? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just passionate about my cuisine. Speaking of which, did you ever find those children I saw? Talked about. Welcome, one and all, cost to Child Slaughter Fest 2000. No. Shame. You know what? Shame. Maybe the jaw will be a bit up. <laughs> okay, never mind. So, in a stroke of obscene luck, we find a mostly sane person who tells us via YouTube. Wait, he, he didn't even mention the fight where we gotta fight the. The, the rat dude and the night dude at the same time. I, that file is kind of awful. Rewind that Radon is not here. Technically, you see, this castle is his euthanasia clinic, and we are going to pull the plug. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I have to charge my switch. <laughs> His consciousness has been gone for yeah, several hundred gone. years due to the demigod Melania, who is the blade of Mikola, by the way. But she's that is a fault? story for later. Essentially, yeah. his mind was eaten and by she's the undefeated. Scarlet Rot, but this man is literally too angry to die, and we are attempt number 500 to kill him. So, uh, I'm liking these odds. I'm just built differently. Very willed smithrently. Let's, uh, go start the mercy killing. And, uh, why is he so far away? Are those summon signs? He's a very nice boss fight. Like, he's an insanely cool boss fight. At one point, he jumps into the air and becomes a comet.
and comes down crashing on your ass. Welcome everyone to the open world RPG where I roleplay as the victim and today <laughs> we're doing one of the best fights in all the video games. Star Scourge Radon is a big, buff, absolute unit of yep. a boss whose only instinct is recycling your flesh back into the ecosystem. But you are not alone in this battle. There is no limit on how many people you can summon and Wait, if they seriously? die then you can just do it again. I'm sure they won't mind. Ah. I have essentially converted the game into an RTS and got to fight raid boss Radon in the world of employee harassment. You can't right, fight him alone as a real gamer, but why would you? This is a goddamn festival, and I will not be having sex by myself. Before you can even reach him, Radon is sniping your ass with the accuracy of my opinions on the internet and firing a frankly suspicious amount of arrows from God. If yep. you want to exercise the privilege of fighting him, you have to earn it, and that is the easy part. Even with summons, you need to pay full attention to his moveset as his attacks swing wider than American elections and hit harder than a freight train on a semi. Now, you may have already noticed, but that is a common small horse yes. it's like i'm looking at chakwale onale this is Sha because in addition to being built like a chakwale on <sighs> come on bro you can't do my voice secure like that the male, radon has the power to defy gravity which yes. constantly gets him into fights with solar bodies this man is skateboarding a horse and holding back the stars while killing everyone he comes into contact with and he does it from the hospice radon is an absolute god and he's insane not among it's, chads and this fight's intensity insane. lives up to that and then some and that is just phase one phase two starts when he um uh yeah, he just leaves. Jumps into the upper atmosphere. <laughs> Visually, he's such a nice fight. God damn, these edits, though. Bam. Bam. Jesus Christ, he is a thick one. That's three out of six point five. Oh god, I think my zodiac just killed itself. This is sure to negatively affect the trout population. The trout population? Won't someone please think about the economy? Wait, it's over? No! Okay, we have another part, okay? Thank god I would disappear for six months so I can watch both parts on together. <clears throat> Anyway, this was awesome, as usual, by Maxwell. Come on, listen, it's a Maxwell video. Of course, it's gonna be awesome. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm gonna see y'all next time on part two, okay? Quick thank you to you, to members and patrons. Thank y'all for the support. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye-bye.